Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com. What do you get when you combine world-class musicians, a fantastic sounding recording space, and beautiful instruments? Well, you get something iconic. And Steinberg has just released Iconica Ensembles, and we're gonna experience that today, so stay tuned for something amazing. Before we get started, just some basics. Uh, Steinberg uses a download assistant that uh, that you can down that you can download, of course. And here you down you can download trial versions and uh, full versions of their their products. And uh, you have iconic ensembles listed here. So when you have it selected, it will ask you to uh, select a path and that type of thing. So you want to make sure you download all these. Uh, I actually. Uh, have this installed on a separate 500 gig SSD. Uh, SSD uh, nowadays is almost a must for sample libraries, especially these beautiful larger orchestral libraries. So once you have that done, you download that, and then you'll use the um, not too fast. That's, you'll you'll lose the Stein. You'll <laughs> you can just see how excited I am. Uh, you'll use the Steinberg Library Manager to actually install and register the um, the samples to Halion, uh, Halion Sonic, and Halion Sonic SE, uh, which which all of these are compatible here. And you can also see the other libraries installed. Um, got a, and I've already registered these, but you can also see there's something else sitting there that's very exciting. But we're going to focus on the ensembles first. Uh, so let's just get down to it. So I'm going to open up. I've already have uh, Halley and Sonic open. And this is the standalone version. Uh, you can see it has the additional transport controls and that type of thing here. So let's go ahead and select all instrument sets. And we're going to load Iconic Ensemble. So this, this will filter through all the presets and patches that only have to do with the Iconic Ensembles uh, library, which makes it easy for what we're going to do today. Um, since it is a big library, let me tell you uh, some of the things that I've done to kind of optimize Halley and Sonic 3. Uh, a lot of these things I didn't realize until I went under the hood and, and uh, just experimented some. Uh, I'm running my system uh, is a, currently an i5-370, uh, <laughs> 370k, something like that, 3700k. That's a four core. So right here you have the ability to select how many cores your processor has. It just helps load balance the processing and that type of thing. Uh, you also can see I've got my max voices set to 256. And this will be something that that may be a little bit different. It may you may be able to get more or less. I've just kind of experimented with and 256 seems like it's a nice sweet spot for me. Uh, again, on my system, I have 32 gigs of, uh, of RAM, uh, and so I want to make sure I'm using, using as much as I can instead of having to rely on the disks to stream. So what I've done here, I've, I've increased my, my amount of memory available for preload, see? Now, see, you can preload samples and so they're not streaming constantly. And so I, I said, well, let's just go for it. So I went to 10 gig. 10 gigabytes, because I've got 32 in there, so let's just go ahead and put 10 gig to make sure we've got plenty of headroom for streaming and that type of thing. And you notice I've got uh, disk streaming and RAM usage. I can just bump it over there a little bit more because I do have the extra RAM. That way that takes the burden off the SSD having to access the memory and that type of thing. So once you get those things uh, kind of ironed out, and, and again, it's gonna be probably dependent on your processor and your system. Uh, but let's get to where the fun is, and uh, you know, and you know, videos that I do, I, I just love. I, I don't do a lot of scripted things. I just love you to experience uh, the instrument along with me because uh, just it just gets me excited when I hear sounds. Sounds inspire me, uh, and uh, so let's just dive right in. So you notice I've got an Iconica ensembles presets set up here and here here's a list of all the presets that they have available and they have them broken down into the different categories um, like from A to A to W, A to Woodwinds. And what this allows you to do, it, it takes the core quality of the samples that uh, have 
that that are presented in Iconica sections and players, but in a more uh, what I call accessible uh, package because they've put the presets together, they put the sections together, and to me it just it so far it just has felt so immediate. Uh, in fact, I've enjoyed playing this so much, it seems like. Uh, uh, so let's just go ahead and jump in. So we're going to just load the Adventure Kit, the Vibrato, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Edit screen so you can kind of see what's going on there. Uh, here you kind of see what uh, sections and players are active in the preset. Here we have the horn section, the trumpet section, uh, the bass strings, and the cello section in this particular patch. So. Um, also, you, you can see the articulations here. So the lower keyboard, the lower part of the keyboard, has the lower spiccato selected. So let's just take a listen. Just the man. just hear that grit and look at this the round robin see so what's happening is that we have the the cellos and the the basses just using that round robin to get a new sample a new a new note playing every time you hit that keyboard and it's kind of like randomized a little bit so that avoids that machine gun effect so let's go let's play a little bit on the top and you notice that the upper uh, sustain vibrato, the, it has like a little vibrato on the sustain when you hold it, so let's listen. And then the mod wheel. Okay, so let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go on. Let's move on. Now this is the adventure kit, the same thing I think without the vibrato in the upper. Yeah, so it's just a regular upper sustain. So let's hear the let's hear what that sounds like. Now you notice with with the mod wheel down. It's a real nice. And then you bring that mod wheel up and it will bring Just gives you that expression. There's a show on ABC, it was this past season called Deception, and the brass just kind of reminds me of that. Just something about the tone. You're going to hear me say well uh, quite a bit. <laughs> so let's go to brass full accented sustains. So you have all of these different articulations in here. Uh, the sustain, the staccatissimo, and then the marcato. So the marcato is, is uh, it's a layer. So this is like, you know, so you don't have it split. You just have it layered. So let's hear what that sounds like. Here 
again, the mod wheel just does its magic. It's incredible. I just love it. And and you see how you get lost. I get lost in the sounds. Um, and and again, I'm not rehearsing any of this stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm just playing as I as I feel it, as I hear it, as the sounds kind of kind of just play me in a sense. Uh, I just love. I just love it. <laughs> uh, so um, you have other you have other different. Um, yeah, so you can layer it, you can have cross switching, and you can fade between the layers. Um, yeah, so when you select a layer, it brings up these controls here. And you can adjust the balance uh, in between. And then you see again, the Marcato has two layers around Robin, or two, two sets. And uh, look up here uh, where the hash is, uh, the hash mark. Now I'm just hitting one note, but look at how that number starts to climb. That is the number of voices that Halley and Sonic is using to play these because this library has so many layers and that's what gives it that depth and that dynamic uh, feel that we're hearing and experiencing with this. So I'm hitting one note and, and on the keyboard and you see eight, so you know and then you're, you're not getting things cut off you think you know you get natural transitions with the brass so you see earlier why i bumped my maximum number of voices to 256. just a real rich royal sound I guess that's what you could call it um, and that's accident so let's go to the full ensemble yeah <laughs> ah, rich. I love the horns. I, I love the horns in. And then this is the staccatissimo again. Action packed, just action packed here. 
And so this is just the horn and trombone with just the one articulation here. But you get the round robin uh, going on. So that's what just brings that realism. To okay. And then here's just the low ensemble. Which will feature, again, the horns and trombones. So it's got the shorts. Yeah, here again, you've got the key switches, so you can switch between, and you have a legato. So let's let's go ahead and just reassign these real quick. See how easy that is, just to go ahead and just reassign them that quickly. Oh, well, we don't want to do that. We still have it kind of, yeah, we still have it activated. The cursor's still flashing in there, so let's get out of there. So now we've got it. See, the Mercado's got like almost like a sforzando. It just has that little rise. Just different decays and... Yeah, so the legato just is very smooth transitioning. <laughs> My scales are not that smooth. Ran out of notes, okay. <laughs> because again, we're dealing with the low ensemble here. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. So you're just given, you know, you're you're giving just a very concentrated selection of just the most useful and beautiful um, patches for each of these sections. So let's see what we've got. Let's keep going down here. Okay, now let's get out of the brass section and go to. Well, this is a this is still in the brass. Uh, category, but this is uh, seems like it's a particular interesting. So okay, so here we look. We've got the French horns, flutes, oboe, viola section, cello, and bass, and you see how how we have this set up here. So let's listen and hear what's going on. So the violas, so the violas are on the the uh, mod wheel. Now, this is the first time hearing some woodwinds. And that's where they overlap with the violas and the... So you've got a layer of flute and oboe.
Yeah, and so you can you can kind of see the articulation in, in the zone, in each zone. You have the snares. And pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what... what uh... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what they've got here. Okay, so we've got timpani and some percussion. We've got the xylophone and marimba, timpani, and then the sustain in the upper um, sustained clarinet, all the, the woodwinds. Yeah, just, just, you know, and the mod wheel doesn't seem like it's. Hey, what's up, Doc? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So let's do this. Cartoon Orchestra. See what what they have here. Similar, similar setup here, and and this is kind of cool too. You have just you have a mixer that has you know the close mic. So let's just yeah. So listen to that. The close mic, or you can go with the trees. So it's more amb. Yeah, just, <laughs> man, which gives you that big space. And then you can blend those together. You can blend those together. I just love Saturday morning cartoons. I wish they would bring bugs back. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you have all of these different mic positions that are available. Uh, dark lines. Let's check a, let check that out. Uh, so clarinet, bassoon, cello, and bass. And then you notice that we're we're once again restricted to kind of like the lower end of the keyboard. I'm gonna bring the mock wheel down. So it looks like the mock wheel is controlling the string. This is the first time we're hearing a lot more of the string. Man, just rich. Very powerful. I mean, it just. And one patch. I mean, this is just one patch. This is just previewing one patch after another. And they've done such a great job in combining the sections and to just to capture some of these feels uh, that make things easy. So we're going to go. Uh, it looks like we're going from the darkness to the light side. So. <laughs> Oh, 
cool. Nothing says fairy tale like a whole tone scale. Got some beautiful wind chimes kind of layered in there. Let's take a look. So we've got violin one, violin two, horns, clarinets, flute, cello over here. You've got percussion, which is the wind chimes. Okay, the upper trills. Let's see what, uh, yeah, see, because you've got chimes, the wind chimes. And see, so you've got whole tones. And so you can assign these to key switches as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try that. So basically, this seems like that it will, it will take us to. Yeah, it'll it it basically just gives you another with the with the whole tone trills instead of the effects. The upper trills, the upper trills effects just gives you that whole tone trill. And that's where the French horn comes in. Oh man, a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. The glockenspiel. Okay, and again, only the percussion is, is selected. Let's look at the mixer. And again, you have the tree and the close mic um, there. I mean, what else can you play? <laughs> and you have the stop key so that it cuts it off. Man, just beautiful. Beautiful, nice, clear. Okay. The marimba, marimba xylophone. that space you hear the space there so let's just check out the mixer here uh. yeah that's what gives you that nice spatial sound let's just listen to the tree so it just gives you the ability to really create a nice nice space a nice realistic orchestral space percussion map let's check that out so, okay, so you've got different. So 
some nice rolls. Triangles. Christmas is coming, you never know. Very nice conga. Man, a very wide selection of, uh, you know, just different. And you don't, I mean, you could use those for just about anything in a, in a, man. Okay, it looks like the, like these keys, they're, they've got different lengths of uh, the bell tree. Man, great orchestral percussion there it's going down okay now i've messed around with this patch a little bit and i think this is this is like one of my favorite ones <laughs> it's the pirates um Just that dynamic is just, it, it just cuts. powerful and with the timpani just kind of you know I'm having too much fun um, just having too much fun with this and this is kind of cool. Uh, and and I, I kind of try to look at the title of the patch and try to visualize what's kind of going on with it. It's almost like a breaking news type of thing.
just very cool. Okay. Now it looks like we're getting to some of my favorite things. And that will be strings. Soaring strings. Let's take a listen to that. That just sounds really cool. And lower sustain and upper legato. So we have it layered where the lower And here we have a level for the legato part, so. So it just layers this on top of it. You have control over that. It's just like a, like a nice, let's just do, look, just choose legato. Like an octave, like a real nice. Just gives that extra octave stack on the top just to just to let that cut just to cut right through with just for those beautiful melodic uh, okay strings full accented and here again we have like a like a layer here Yeah, so you can layer those things and just ah, beautiful. So let's try the tremolo. Look at that. Interesting. And that spiccato, it just has that round robin again. Yeah, so you, you can play it. it down. 
bouncy and that brings that that See, it's just so easy to develop little themes and motifs when you have these sounds that just kind of just pull it out of you. It just pulls these things out of you. Okay, string full ensemble and uh, yeah I mean just listen that just that Just, man, just great.
what can I say? What can I say about that? I mean, that's just, that is, that is beautiful, man. So, you know, you have a few more with the tremolos and that kind of thing. So it's a fade. Yeah. And this is another layer. Yeah, and so the mod wheel kind of goes between those layers. So if you get get us, you know. Yeah, man. You have different settings here for the round robin. You can have random. Uh, you can you know have it go up and down or random and. Or just, just to keep it from just sounding repetitive, you know, that you're triggering the same sample over and over again. Yeah, there we go. So the mod wheel with some of these layers, they control. And some of those, like we saw before, that use a different controller. Yeah, I mean, you just hear, you just hear that. You just hear that. Amazing. It's just so amazing. So this uh, just has the the high strings in the ensemble. Let's take a look. Yeah, so it just has this section here. And uh, let's just go for the sustain. And then you can, you know, you can um, click on the top where the notes are to switch with the mouse. One of the cool things about, you know, the ensembles is that it uses, since it's using the core of the Iconica sections and players, you still get the richness. But one of the great things is, you know, you look here and you're only using like 1.4 gig of memory. And, um, you know, back in the day, uh, you know, when, when you just had a kilobytes of memory, uh, you know, for to store samples in, I mean, to think about storing a, a gig of samples, uh, you know, it was just unheard of, but now it's just like, you know, uh, commonplace. But, you know, to get the, the fullness of the sounds without sacrificing the quality, but yet maximizing your memory space, especially if you're maybe low on resources or don't have 32 gigs of memory, uh, and then you can, you can stack these ensembles in such a way to get the most out of the, the range of sounds and the sections of sounds without sacrificing a, a you know performance and that type of thing. So they've they've grouped these in such a way that you have the full ensemble, then they've sectioned it off where you can just compartmentalize for lows and high ensembles and that type of thing. Like here it just focuses on the the low, the low strings here, the the bass and the cello. <laughs> And if you stuck with me this long, I just so appreciate it. And um, remember to just subscribe and share. And I appreciate all the support that uh, that you guys have shown me. So let's go with the Woodwind Full Ensemble. We're just about done. We're at the W's. You just hear the air and the life in these samples and the performances. It's it's more uh, it's more than just you know, playing a note, these these musicians and artists and the engineers uh, cap, have captured these performances, uh, which 
which translate into a very playable and uh, beautiful instrument here. Yeah, <laughs> so here again, we have all of the articulations here. <laughs> and sustain. This mission, if you choose to accept it. <laughs> so you have semitone scales, uh, or trills, and then the whole tone trill here. And then again, you have the key switches. Uh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, I've got to click, you know, click on the note, click on the top of this. I keep clicking here, but that allows you to select between the different um, different articulation modes here. Okay, yeah, and I it looks like I have I've signed signed it to the same key switch, so that's why when I select that, it would it selected both of them because they were assigned to the same note. Once again, mod the mod wheel. Just gives you some expressive. And then here again, they break it down. High accented sustain. Same thing. You got the layers that go from the... It goes from the staccato to the sustain using the mod wheel. So... Uh, you can just see how they've how they've just done such a great job, just kind of breaking things down, giving you a lot of things to choose from, a lot of variety. But most importantly, they've given you just just the most beautiful sounds, um, recorded recorded great. Um, and um, you know, if you if you don't if you don't have the resources to go for the full Iconica library, um, this really uh, this really, at this point, is just a really great library to, if you don't have an orchestral library, it's it's a great one to get started with, just to have some fun and the immediacy of these instruments. But if you already have something available that you're using, it is a great uh, complement to that. It would be a great complement to whatever you have already. Um, I just love that adventure kit, too. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Iconica Ensembles, uh, which, you know. Yeah, I mean, that is Iconica Ensembles. And once again, thanks for watching. This is Simeon from praisetracks.com and and if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more, just please subscribe, click on the notification bell, and share. And uh, thanks again, and uh, I will see you soon with some more exciting uh, sounds and music. And uh, thank you so much. Keep making the joyful sound.